Grandma, what is going on inside the laundry room? Well, we open the utility room up. And there's a big nest. Nest of something. We're gonna open this up for the first time. Oh, oh my gosh, Grandma, look at this. This is crazy. I don't wanna We're gonna start removing this stuff right now, and we're gonna see what's inside. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. Welcome to the channel. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know for today's video that there was some kind of an animal nest in my grandma's house. My grandma called me and told me, hey Jake, you need to come over here that I have discovered a ginormous animal's nest inside of great grandma's laundry room. So of course I went over there, we found Probably the largest animal nest that I have ever found. We did some investigating and we found out exactly what was living inside of my grandma's house. If you guys want to see the nest, you want to know what animal made it, you want to know what we did with it, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that. And I just want to say thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. And for those of you that are wondering what Manscaped is, if you haven't heard of it, Manscaped is the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped actually hooked me up with a bunch of cool products that come in their Performance Package 4.0, so let's stop talking about it and let's check it out. And this right here is the Performance Package 4.0. Manscaped gives you this really cool discreet box. So when you actually get it in the mail, you don't even know what you're getting. It just has this awesome logo, and guys, when I tell you that your little below area down there is gonna thank you, well guys, I'm not lying. And this right here is what you get in the Performance Package 4.0. You get the incredible Weed Whacker, which is actually new to the Manscaped line. So basically this Weed Whacker right here is an electric nose and ear trimmer. So you just open this on up right here. Here it is, and guys, we're gonna test this out right now. I haven't tested this out. Oh, we're on, we're on. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, we got. Oh, wow, it's, it, it, it's working. Well, it's safe to say that the Weed Whacker's working quite good, but not only did they send me that, but they also sent me the Crop Reviver, the Crop Preserver, and my personal favorite, the Lawnmower 4.0. So two of my favorite features about the Lawnmower 4.0 is its ceramic blades and skin safe technology because in the past, whenever I've used any sort of a trimmer, well guys, I always get cut, but with Manscaped, you have no worries. Now not only can you use it in out of the shower, but you guys can use it in the shower because the Lawnmower 4.0 is completely waterproof. I mean seriously, Manscaped has a product for everyone. Whether you're a guy and you need some new products, whether you're a girl with a boyfriend and you want a gift that keeps on giving, well guys, Manscaped is the product for you. And for me especially, after a long day of cleaning monkey poop with this little guy right here, well guys, I love to use my anti-chafing crop preserver ball deodorant. If Manscaped sounds like something that you guys are interested in, or if it's for that special someone in your life, well, if you go to Manscaped right now, you buy the Performance Package 4.0. Well, you're not gonna get just one free gift, but you are going to get two free gifts. You're gonna get the Shed Travel Bag and the anti-chafing boxer briefs. If you guys go to manscaped.com today, right now, literally right after this video, and you use my code FEDER, well guys, you are gonna get free international shipping, 20% off, and two free gifts. Well guys, we just got over here to my great grandma's house, and I have my grandma here. Now my great grandma, um, no one's lived here for a long, long time, and grandma, what is going on inside the laundry room? Well, we opened the utility room up, which yeah. has the washing machine. machine and dryer, uh -huh. and there's a big nest. nest of something. And yes. it's like dried grass, we don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, so there is so, a nest. Grandpa Al noticed that there's a hole up there and he thought maybe something had crawled in through there to the utility. Yep. But so we don't know. Yeah, we don't know what is in there, but we are here today to try and trap whatever is in there, try and catch it. So we've got our trusty net. Now this net actually extends out. We might be dealing with a raccoon, possum, fox, rats. I think probably that rats. probably rats, honestly. So this right over here is the utility room. So basically behind this door over here, is where it is, and this is the hole they're telling me about. So right over here, you can see there's different vent covers, but right here, there is nothing. So because of this tiny hole, well, that only means it could be one of a few things, probably some sort of a rat, maybe maybe small possums could fit in there, but behind these doors is this nest. I haven't been here in years, but I'm ready to get inside and confront whatever's in there. So first things first, Grandma, could you hold this net for me? Sure. So Grandma's gonna hold the net, so when I open the door, Grandma, oh, you're... Oh, I better run. No, you gotta be the one to catch whatever's oh, in there. Oh, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so oh, we're gonna no. open this on up right now. Let's get our trash cans out of the way. You're picking the wrong person to do that part. Yeah. 
but so, I'll do my best. We're opening all oh, this is not good. Look. Oh, all right, I'll take the net. Oh no, there's look, another hole. There's there. another hole right here. Oh, you can that. see that. right here where the wood has oh. rotted away, where there's a hole where a predator could most definitely get I didn't in. Even see that before. You see that? Come in. Come look oh, at it. Oh, look, and over here too, it's another one started. Yeah, there's another hole here. You can see the wood is rotting away, just falls apart. Now we don't want to break that up too much, but basically this room is in need of some TLC. So Grandma got me the key to the room. I'm a little bit scared. I'm gonna be ready to. Yeah, grab move way back <laughs> we've got our trusty key let's go on in right now so we're going to open the door and see what's living inside the moment of truth we got that on open just like that and is this open down here is it the same yeah wait oh we got it all right oh, dear. okay come over here uh, I'm, I'm gonna move over here. all right we're going to open it right now lance come over here to this side so we can see it we're going to open this up for the first I time <laughs> in three two one oh Oh my gosh! Grandma! Look at this! This is crazy! I don't want to look too closely. Look I at this. So, this is a... It's worse than when we first saw it. It's a massive... Oh my gosh. It's a massive nest! This is insane! Oh you my... You put a mask on this. No, thing. no. So, I'm guys, if you look at this right here, there's a ginormous oh. nest in here from some kind of a predator, and it looks like there's even a nest way up high here is there a light in here that works Tried. no the bulb is missing so guys if you see this right here come on in this is pretty crazy so this oh, is dear. one oh. massive nest that's what something you, should i run should you run <laughs> yeah. i don't i don't think you should run but there's a massive oh, there's oh, a massive no. nest right here and there could be animals literally living in this i mean this mountain is at least three feet off the ground so there's only one thing left to do. Um, I've got this right here. I'm gonna use this paint roller. Oh dear. So we're gonna take this. What are you gonna do, put it in the garbage can? No, we're gonna try just raking it out. So guys, right now I want you to comment down below what kind of a creature has made this crazy nest right here, guys. Let me know down below what you guys think. But we're gonna start removing this stuff right now and we're gonna see what's inside. So I'm not seeing much of anything right now. Wait. I don't hear movement, but there's definitely a ginormous creature, some sort of a weird creature that has brought all of this material. This material didn't just get in here. Something has brought it in here and created this crazy nest. So what I want to do now is I want to start just dragging all of this stuff out and see what kind... Oh, there's an egg. Look. Look. Bird egg. Look. I think we know. Look. There's a bird egg. Look. It's an old bird egg that just crumbled away into nothing. So... There's definitely been some birds in here, but a lot of these animals actually have symbiotic relationships with other animals. So even though we found the bird, the bird egg, there could be many other animals in here. Rats, raccoons, possums. I am not sure, but you know what? I think there's been a bird in here, because look at this. There's a white feather. Do you see this, Grandma? There's a white feather here. So I'm thinking there's been some pigeons or some kind of birds living in here. We're just gonna move this giant nest. Look at this! This is insane! Look at this. All different palm frond material. Oh, no. Grandma, did you ever think that there'd be this much stuff in here? No, no. Look, I just found another egg from either a bird or a lizard, but it's very fragile. You can see this is part of an egg, and just like that, it crumbles away into nothing. So, we're digging, we're going. I think it's a bird, Grandma. Look at we this. Can make that big a nest. Yeah, I mean, really? how many years has it been since someone was in here? A while. A yeah. while. Look, another egg right here. Another baby bird egg. Look at this. Right here, Grandma. Look at the egg. Oh, yeah. You see this? So did it hatch out of there? Yeah, you can see this is where the baby oh, bird gosh. hatched out. So we're definitely dealing with some kind of a bird. These are little tiny blue eggs. And like I was saying, you just crack it and oh. it just disappears. So. Oh. We're definitely dealing with a bird. Wait, do you hear that? Do you hear that, Lance? Do you hear it? I hear, I hear something moving. I hear something. Okay, I hear something in here. Guys, I think there's an animal in here. I think I'm hearing it. We're just moving some of this debris out of the way. Right there. Oh my God. Something's in, there's a, it's a bird. There's a bird right here. Let me grab one, two. Look at this. We just oh caught word. this little bird. Look. Oh my word. Look. 
What kind of bird is that? I'm honestly, I'm not sure what kind of bird this is, but it could be. Look, he was living in the house. He, he might be trapped. Now, what's weird is he's not flying away. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Whoa. Okay. So, this bird is not flying away. He looks like he something is up with him. Now, look at this crazy little bird right here. Grandma, look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at him. Looks like a little finch of some kind. Oh, my. Isn't he cute? Really? You want to hold him? No, no. You sure? So no, we just caught on. this bird in here. So we want to see if he's going to fly away right now. But I think we found our predator. I think that... Are there more in there? Oh, well, I don't know that. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and mm -hmm. see if this little bird's going to fly. And basically... There he... Oh, he no, must be... Something is wrong with him. He can fly, but I'm not sure what's up with him. Something is definitely wrong with this bird. Oh, I see that it looks like there's an injury right here. Looks like there's an injury on his eye if you look right there. So this bird feels very light and underweight. And what I'm suspecting is, Grandma, I think the bird got trapped in there and couldn't get out. I think he flew in there and couldn't get out because we didn't really disturb him. And he seems, I'm not sure what's wrong with him. So. We're gonna leave him right here on the trash can, and we're gonna continually, we're gonna continue going in. Grandma, grandma do you think you could find a box we could yeah, put I'm the bird in? Look. Okay. Go look. So my grandma's gonna go find a box to put this bird in. I'm gonna be calling uh, Lloyd Brown. I don't even know what kind of bird this is. It looks like an invasive finch of some kind. But if it's a native bird, we're gonna be taking it to a wildlife rehabber. Again, I'm not very, I'm not well versed on native birds. We're gonna get back in here and see if there's some other birds. All right, we got a big one. We got a big one here. Wait, one, two. Look at this. I don't know. Look. All right, I'm not seeing anything else. Giant snake. No. Giant snake. No, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Giant snake. Really? Yeah. No. Grandma, come here. No, no. Really? Yeah. No, I got to go inside. I'm just kidding. No oh, snakes. No. Thank goodness. No snakes in here. I don't think there's anything else living in here, but Grandma has got the box. So, Grandma, can I see the little shoe box right here? There you go. You got scared for a second, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, you so, know I don't like snakes. Yeah, so we've got our little shoe box right here. We're going to put this little bird right on in here. We're going to take him and put him in this little shoe box, and I'm going to be calling uh, Lloyd Brown of Wildlife Rescue of Dade County, sending him a photo of this bird. Um, and if he can help it out, that's where we're going to be taking it. And well, we've got our little bird in here and it looks like we have quite a mess to clean up. We're going to clean all this up, put it in the trash can. So, so that is going to end today's episode. We're going to close this little bird on in here. Grandma, love you. Thanks thank for, you, thanks thank for coming you, thank on you. out. And thank well, you for coming. of course, so that's going to end today's episode guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video coming in here and Finding this crazy nest literally inside of the house. Absolutely insane stuff. So if you guys want to see what happens to this poor helpless bird, well guys, all you got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.